Russia leaves Armenia, Turkey enters to this country, West will not come here. The Armenian authorities are changing security cooperation with Russia to strengthen Turkey's influence. Avet Adonts, the former Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of Armenia, said these words in an interview to Sputnik. He said that although the Armenian leadership says that it has not changed its foreign policy vector, after Pashinyan's visit to Munich, Paris and the visit of the MFA chief to Antalya, sharp changes and the next wave of statements began. The intention to move the Russian border guards from the Zvartnots airport is only a small element in the broader agenda of the Armenian authorities. If earlier the process was aimed at reducing Russia's influence in Armenia and the region as a whole, now they are trying to completely eliminate it. As an example, he pointed to the initiatives taken to become a candidate for EU membership as well as the statement that the activities in the CSMT were frozen. According to Adonts, the authorities are trying to assess the importance of the EU from a purely economic point of view. The Russian side has clearly stated that the freezing of participation in the CSTO calls into question Yerevan's full participation in the Eurasian Economic Union. He emphasized that Yerevan is changing its foreign policy vector but without any security guarantee. Our relations with neither Azerbaijan nor Turkey have been settled. The situation is unpredictable and extremely dangerous. Iran strongly opposes the involvement of non-regional forces in the current processes and has recently reiterated this. But the anti-Russian and anti-Iranian processes are very active in Armenia. The former deputy minister is sure that the West will not come to Armenia because there is an example of Ukraine and instead Russia will be replaced by Turkey. The EU itself depends on Washington to ensure security. Now the dominance of the USA in Europe has become even stronger. Democracy, which Armenia declares to be the most powerful weapon, is a children's fairy tale. Nobody needs it. Where is democracy? Values, human rights, for example, in Gaza? Azerbaijan snubbed Russia's latest fighter jets for competitors from Turkey and Pakistan. The small, oil-rich South Caucasus country of Azerbaijan has big plans to upgrade its modest fleet of fighter jets over the next decade. The Business Insider wrote this. It is noted that, however, rather than turn to Russia its traditional arms supplier for decades, Baku will likely acquire modern fighters from Pakistan and Turkey. The turn away from Russia shows that longtime allies like Azerbaijan are finding effective arms sellers who aren't afflicted by the problems of Russia's newest fighter jets. Unconfirmed reports in Azerbaijani and Pakistani media surfaced in late February claiming Azerbaijan reached a deal with Pakistan to buy an undisclosed number of JF-17C Thunder fighter jets for $1.6 billion. Azerbaijan officially joined Turkey's TF Khan 5th generation fighter program last July, strongly suggesting it will acquire that jet. The Khan made its maiden flight in February. Russia previously tried to market the 4.5 generation Su-30 SM, Su-35 and MiG-35 fighters to Azerbaijan in the late 2010s. Azerbaijan's president said in 2018 that his country had spent $5 billion on Russian military hardware. But now it doesn't seem likely Baku will turn to Moscow for a 4.5 generation aircraft. Azerbaijan is even less likely to invest in Russia's troubled fifth-generation Su-57 or Su-75 Checkmate jets. Russia has been Azerbaijan's largest arms supplier until recent years, said Federico Borsari, a defense expert at the Center for European Policy Analysis. However, things have progressively changed as Russia launched a reckless war of aggression against Ukraine and started to lose influence among countries in the Caucasus amidst growing difficulties in Ukraine and financial constraints, Borsari told Business Insider. Turkey, among others, has exploited this situation from a security standpoint and started to expand its military cooperation in Baku, including through weapons sales. Consequently, Turkish sales to Azerbaijan began increasing in 2017, while Russian arms exports halted around 2019. Against this backdrop, the rumored JF-17 purchase, 
from Pakistan further consolidates this trend of progressive detachment from Moscow's fold and may also be the result of the poor performance of Russian aircraft and the Air Force overall in Ukraine, Borsari said. Given close relations with Turkey and ambivalent ones with Russia, its preference for the latter is understandable, particularly given Russia's own problems bringing Su-57s into service, Roblin told Insider. Borsari said Azerbaijan's participation in the Khan project is first and foremost the natural consequence of a long-standing and growing security partnership between Ankara and Baku that stems from their close political and diplomatic ties. For both countries, this appears to be a win-win solution, Borsari said.